times we've been done so much? Uh, like many times. Many times. Many times. No, I'm But I saw in a vision, I saw it answer. You did answer. Jesus! Spiritual one, come on, demon. Come on, what are you hiding here? Come on, huh? <laughs> what, what are you hiding here? Leave this man, <laughs> leave him, <coughs> leave him, you demon, leave him, read, <laughs> leave him, leave him. You are hiding here. Ah! Leave him. Dirty spirit. Leave him. In the name of Jesus. Leave him. Leave this stomach. Leave him. Leave him. Ah! Leave him. Ah! Leave him. Jesus' name. Just uh, wait. Shalom. Uh, my name is uh, Kindon Chamanga. Uh, I stay in Cape Town. Uh, the challenges that brought me here, um, I had a lot of uh, blockages in my life uh, in terms of uh, business, uh, in terms of uh, uh, my calling, my gift, uh, relationships. Uh, those are the things that brought me uh, to Charis. Uh, a, a brief background is that uh, in terms of business, uh, I would start a business. Uh, it will thrive, but all of a sudden, it will just collapse. Uh, the same uh, in my gift, in my calling, it was like the same. Like, I would rise, I would thrive, but all of a sudden, things will just cease. Uh, in terms of uh, business, I said business, uh, calling, relationships uh, relationships uh, were um, one of the um, part which uh, really brought uh, a lot of heartbreak uh, to me because uh, it, it it doesn't uh, work well that uh, you you love someone but all of a sudden you see that person just changed you were on the same page uh, like a few minutes ago, then a person is just someone else. Uh, these challenges, they brought a lot of uh, depression, a lot of frustration, uh, a lot of stress, um, a lot of stigma. Uh, these are the challenges that uh, you face. Isolation also. Uh, while we were in a group, uh, Prophet Andres, uh, he singled me out and he said, I'm seeing your sister. Um, among your sisters, there's one who loves to do uh, something to do with bridal, saloon, something like that. Where is your sister? Hmm? I see a lady who's trying to do business. Hmm? This one was interested in the, the cosmetics things. Ganga is interested in those things. I believe after I pray for your sisters, my sister. You hear me? And it's like if you can be strong, she will even have a salute. Just pray. So God will help you. Uh, which I am not sure because uh, I will have to confirm that one with my sisters because we stay far from one another, so I have to confirm that one. Uh, while we were on the one-on-one -on -one session, uh, 
prophet andris he was uh, like uh, reading my life the way that he was speaking because he was touching uh, area one by one one by one and i was confirming uh, uh he, he touched the issue of um uh dreams prophetic dreams that uh, i used to have uh he elaborated more on it that uh, i used to see things and when i see those things they will come to pass and it was true uh it was happening uh, uh in uh in the area of um work uh, i said i'm seeing the job that you are not doing uh, is not good we need god to give you uh, a good job uh which is true uh currently i'm working as a gardener uh that's my current job another thing on that uh um i had a lot of projects which i started um uh which collapsed uh i did a project on biltong i made biltong uh it it was like um i had a big passion on it i worked uh somewhere where i was just uh, uh someone who was speaking uh, meat in a butchery so i told myself that i'm not going to end here i need to take uh, whatever skill that i can master here and uh, do it on my own so when i was working there i think i worked uh, uh maybe four months there uh when i left there i told myself i'll start this thing so i took it uh, i started to to build the machine first i built the machine uh to dry meat then from there i started to to buy uh the spices that you use to mix uh vinegar uh, worcester sauce and i bought the meat i did my first batch it when it's i, I saw that batch i was happy uh because it sold quickly i did another batch it sold quickly then i think it, it was on the fifth that things begin to collapse and from that in that area uh things were not moving things were not moving in that area of uh beauto i also did another project uh, in carpentry uh in carpentry i i had a lot uh, which i was doing in carpentry uh we're doing couches uh case edible boards a uh, lot of stuff uh that one i i only had a few customers when i started it uh you know people were happy that i you can do it and then i told them nah, no what i can deliver uh then while i was doing it uh, i said i need to do something big so i had some money that i had saved i took that money to invest in that business of carpentry when i put that money there everything just went down everything just went down and it collapsed i brought a lot of uh, depression uh you know sometimes when people look at you uh there's uh, stigmatization uh but uh i stood and said uh, i will not give up uh, i might have uh, many that failed but this is not the end i will continue going on out to continue moving forward uh looking for a way and today here i am i know um i'm very happy about uh what has happened today like uh w- the 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 encouragement that i can give to the world is that uh, uh god is there you just need to reach out uh and seek uh the face of the king before you you go to any man of god you need to pray first that is the most important thing because mo- most times uh many people they don't want to pray they just want to re- re- rely on uh what the man of god says uh there's a problem of uh, maintaining uh when uh, uh, anointing has been released uh you will be on your own satan will come again he will fight you so during that time that's where you need to stand your ground uh like i know i came here the man of god prayed for me he prophesied uh upon my life then 
I went through the deliverance session. What's left now is there's maintenance. Because Satan will come again. So maintenance is very important.